Hey guys, it's your best fight friends. I'm Kelsey, that's Rachel. And we're gonna talk about, you know, Dana White dropped a video. It's an epic video. <laughs> to destroy his critics. When Dana White, you know, he kind of became a super villain. Which, yeah, he went full super villain. He activated full super villain. He unlocked that code. Yeah. Um, went full Sith Lord you said, on the media and Bob Arum. <laughs> Boxing promoter and Bob Arum. You said that uh, Scorched Earth. Scorched Earth mode <laughs> activated. Right, yeah. <laughs> What is that from? I don't know. I'm okay. <laughs> Execute Order 66. I, I mean, know what that's from. So let's just talk about this. I could, I can concisely say, here's my reaction to okay. it. And my concise reaction to it is that I question Dana White, are you being what you want to see in the world? All right. Right, right. So to draw that out a little bit, it seems like to me, the story I make up is that Dana White wants to at minimum, be treated fairly by the media all the time, <laughs> often. Uh, well, that's a fair... You want to be treated fairly. He wants yeah. to be given the benefit of the doubt. You know, be how we would like treat like other that. human beings. Instead of, Dana White tends to be attacked a lot. He tends... I make up... Sometimes people just have a personality. Maybe they're naturally heels in the world, right? <laughs> well, some, and sometimes people don't even understand. Like, sometimes people maybe identify with a certain political party or whatever. Right, and then, so that, like, ruffles feathers. And they only feathers. are capable of seeing other, the other people as their enemy. And they don't even not realize it, I don't think. Yeah, yeah. In some yeah. cases. Some cases they do. And that's it. on both sides. Yeah. And so, but what I, I would, well, whatever it is Dana wants... From the media whatever his ideal is is well be you be that in the world and when dana white dropped this video was he what he wanted to see in the world and i would say i would argue that no well we don't know what he wants to see you're saying like yeah i'm, yeah, I'm, I'm drawing a lot of conclusions i'm <laughs> making up a lot of stories about no, but i'm the, saying maybe he's like this is how i want to be if they're going to be like that i'm going to be like this. maybe he just wants more of it so maybe he saying, wants more yeah. media he's just ready to blowing go blowing stuff baby. up and doing because he likes to fight and that that, that then that's what he wants so i am and that's a really good thing to point out i'm kind of pulling this through my own worldview because well, you would want him. I, yeah. well, I would want, yeah, yeah. I want people to, to be kind and compassionate. I want people to give each other the benefit of the doubt. Right. I want people to love first and, you yeah. know, judge not. So I want all these things. So that's kind of the lens I pull this whole thing through. And that's a hard thing to do because it's easy for me to be like, well, how dare Dana White? Especially because he's like, all oh, the media, he lumps us all together. It lumps everybody <laughs> together. So I could be a fellow that tackles that. But at the same time, if somebody comments on YouTube something I don't like, <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm like, let's do this, bro. Let's meet. You know what I mean? Like, well, and that's a, a, and that's like a it's, well because it's your personality, right? Yeah. So like when we have a YouTube show, right? A YouTube show now a podcast, and when on YouTube when somebody leaves a comment that's not very kind, man, especially if it's about we, my wife, we I react. So differently but i think that's important for somebody like me to maybe understand about dana white dana white is a different person than rachel he might react differently to various media outlets and personalities when they say things to him i tend to look at people and be like oh like the most recent comment we got on youtube right i looked at it and i went you know what this person they don't, they're not really thinking that they're talking to another human person, which is me. That they're talking to a real live human being with thoughts and emotions and feelings. So when they just say, that lady's dumb, mm. <laughs> they, I, I went, oh, they're not really thinking. They're online, so this feels unreal to them right no. when i'm online things don't right. feel real to me when we have our other youtube channel real chelsea at the movies when we talk about movies we're being critical of the humans, product of humans but humans <laughs> made the product and it's very personal to right. them yeah so when i saw that comment i mean we've done this on our show even on this show we've talked about fighters in a way sometimes that maybe we weren't, right we weren't really thinking like oh this person might feel you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. It might yeah. hurt them. It might do, like... Right. But, so when I read the comment that we got, like, I reacted differently than you did. You 
but we're completely different yeah, human do. beings who have different personalities and different yeah. temperaments. And so I can't really judge anybody like a Kelsey or like a Dana White who might right. have a much stronger reaction and might even follow their thoughts and reactions well, they had to the point that they dropped this massive video that's that, kind of... That have this professionally made. <laughs> yeah. Now, so my opinion on the whole situation as a person in the media is that... He's not, Dana White's not wrong in a way in that there is a uh, underlying uh, negativity that persists through 90% of the media, I would say. There is um, truth to the thing that people want clicks. We, we write for clicks, so he called, he said that they're writing for people clicks. People get paid on news, Absolutely, yeah. we get paid for that um, in a lot of cases. Um, but I'm not sure that what Dana White did is going to do anything but escalate what he doesn't want in his life. So, um, If he, in fact, doesn't yeah. want this. The other thing, I'm, the story I make up mostly about Dana White is that he's a f he's, he's not a fighter, but he's a fighter. Like, I mean, he, I mean, he, he is actually a good yeah, boxer. Yeah, a lot of people have so, fighting, like, personalities. That's what he like, does. Also, Dana White seems like the kind of guy, and a lot of elite professional fighters are like this, who will turn the other into his enemy to help him achieve things. So when motivation. he hears, yeah, he it's his motivation. motivation. It's his fuel. When he sees people say it can't be done, well, I'm going to roll up my sleeves mm -hmm. and get this done and show them. And that's what helps make him be successful. So there's really, and honestly, there's a symbiotic relationship between the media and any like company like the UFC or anything like that. You they could both say benefit from each other. There's a symbiotic relationship between the critical, ridiculous media and Dana White. Yeah. Not just like, yeah, there's already a, a symbiotic relationship. Uh, like, Kelsey has nothing to write about if the UFC, like, doesn't exist, right? right. Or, I mean, yeah. he has something I'm to write about. He could, that I can he's not getting not paid the in the way he gets paid right now if the UFC doesn't exist. And that's really important to us. But you could even say there's a relationship between some of these haters and uh, Dana White. Well, the truth is also, in my own personal life, I have to remind myself this. Other people are entitled to their opinions, and they can have their opinions. I think Dana White felt disappointed in some of the people maybe not recognizing that their opinion was just an opinion and not fact, right? A lot right. of people in general life, let's pull this out, this, this conversation, they don't know that their opinions are a general fact. I have to work all the time. What do I say to myself and you yeah, yeah. all the time? You're like, and I, that's my opinion. That's my opinion because <laughs> I'm saying it to me. I'm trying to teach myself to know what an opinion is versus a fact. Mm -hmm. And that's a hard thing to do. So I think it's just a general thing. Um, it's crazy, but doesn't it fit with 220, Rachel, that <laughs> he would drop that insane video that, ironically, perhaps... You know how many clicks they got for posting that? I know I got a ton of clicks for posting that. <laughs> for writing about it. Wow. I will, just as an aside, share my opinion on the video in that overall, I, do, I don't have, like, this is none of my business. It's not my, my life, right? Like, these, this is what Dana White chose to do. This is what, when the people were being critical, what they chose to do and how they chose to do it, all their business. The About the video specifically, I would say one thing about it, and that my opinion is that intentionally publicly humiliating people is, it kind of hurts my heart a little bit because yeah, yeah. I feel like in the video, Dana White did not just attack people who were grossly unfair to him and repeatedly unfair to him. I make up that some of those people, some of those writers he called out in the video, maybe had a just passing opinion. Yeah. That was just At a scary time. <laughs> During a, a global pandemic, right? Yeah. Like, it, it was a scary time. I remember seeing how many people died in Italy. Like, that they lost, like, almost a whole generation there. Some of those people, like, they well, were publicly humiliated, and maybe they were like, what? And like, that's, like, are you telling me that, for example, a Brian Campbell from CBS Sports is the same, the same kind of thing that Bob Arum was? Because I feel right, like, like Bob <laughs> Arum <laughs> and Dana White hate each other, yeah, and yeah. Brian Campbell's a nice guy. Right? Maybe he had an opinion or was talking about whatever during yeah. a scary time. Or like I look at somebody like Errol um, Hawani and I right. was like, man, I was like, really? he is so good now, for the UFC. I know that their All beef this, goes back in the past. Though. The work that he does just drives promoting the UFC because mm. it makes all of us, you know, him and Daniel Cormier together and how lovable like that whole relationship is and funny and 
And it makes me pay attention to stuff about fights yeah. that I might not know about. Like, so I have a hard time publicly throwing people but you know, under the bus. Like, also, if you step out of just this topic, he loves doing this. How many times? If he might not admit it, but Dana White loves this kind of stuff. Doesn't he get into it, it seems... with his favorite people, Conor McGregor and John Jones right. and all these superstars? How many times have they gone back and forth? And again, that brings <laughs> us back to, okay, Dana White and Rachel are not the same kind right, of yeah. person with the same kind of temperament. We're not going to react with other human beings in the same way. And what's important for me about that is to let Dana be Dana yeah. and to accept Dana as who when, he is. Even when I, Kelsey, as a media person or just a human being, I form my opinion on something that Dana White does, the reality I always try to remind myself is Dana White's the one that had built a multi-million dollar company. And I'm, I haven't. I'm not, I'm not the expert on his business. Right. I can have opinions on it, but I'm not the expert on it. Yeah, so I think it's good to have that detachment, you know, yeah. to realize just how... All of this stuff, like in the grand scheme of things, isn't that important. And I have a hard time with that, which I think is why my heart hurts a little bit about the public because... humiliation part, is because I, I will say, I have an unhealthy attachment to what other when people think about me. That and and so I've experienced that before, and it doesn't feel good. I well. imagine, <laughs> immediately imagined, like, oh, what if Dana, what if I had been one of the people in his video? It would have just wrecked me, guys. Like, it would have wrecked me. I would have been so sad. I will say. And I would have cried. When I saw it, the <laughs> feeling I got when I saw Lyle Fitzsimmons from Bleach Report was in it. I Which was is a kinda, colleague of yours. Yeah, and I, lo I love Lyle. Me and Lyle have a great uh, back and forth together. I was kind of jealous because I was like, man. I, yeah, so Kelsey had a completely like, different thing. I was like, man, I was as like, long <laughs> as I was, like, true to myself, if he, he was mad at me for something, like having an opinion and put me in there because I don't know what Lyle said was all that. Re anyway, I don't. I haven't read through all of it, but I'm saying that like um, I would be okay with it. Like he can have his opinion too, right? See, well, that's so much like more healthy I, and I'm better. Grown, Rachel, I know. I was like, oh, I've kind of grown because in the past that would have destroyed me. Yeah, and well, yeah. like what did we say like a year or so ago? Uh, this kind of a thing happened to yeah. us. Yeah. And when my experience of it was at a, a press conference for a boxing event, yeah. I was wrecked because somebody not liking me is a big deal. Like, it, it yeah. hurts me. And I questioned myself for Already. months yeah. after that. I was like, did I do something wrong? So even though I was okay with just being a normal human being, yeah, yeah. I questioned everything because I think that I have right. uh, unhealthy attachment to what other people think about me. We wish the best to all good people, all people in the world. Dana White, media people, you're all included, baby. You know what I mean? Baby. Like, seriously, <laughs> seriously, baby. Hey. Listen, hey, this is Gabe Rosado, baby. <laughs> Remember how pimp Gabe was when he slid His in there? He slid so all deep. in there. He's like, yeah. hey, y'all, it's Gabe, huh? <laughs> you know, he sounded like he was spitting game. Whenever. Hey, thanks for watching. Uh, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. We appreciate you, our best five friends.